imagine having a nice little benchtop bench saw in your workshop without a proper place for storing it. To make things worse, after placing the bench saw on the workbench, the saw's work surface is too high for working on it. That's our situation. We have a bench saw and we can't use it safely. So to fix that, we will use our CNC router to make a mobile bench saw station with a work surface at a proper height. To save some time on designing the main cabinet, I decided to copy the file for the miter saw station that we built last week and edit it to fit our bench saw. The first thing I had to do was remove the workbench extensions. We won't be needing them for this project. Since I used the user parameters when designing the miter saw station, all I had to do was make a couple of measurements and change some of the numbers in the user parameter spreadsheet. And the design was more or less ready for CNC operations. I just had to prepare the G-code for the CNC. But that's not that complicated. In short, to ensure the best quality and precision components, you just have to make sure you do the cuts in the correct order and cut all the pockets and the joint holes before cutting the component outlines. Let me know if you would like me to make a separate video on preparing the projects for the CNC operations and share my cutting settings so your CNC projects would go as smoothly as loading sheets on the CNC router and removing the finished components. Anyway, before assembling the cabinet, I had to remove the support tabs from the parts made from 15mm plywood and trim the edges of all of the components. When the trimming operations were done, I could attach the shelf to the back panel and add the sides of the main cabinet. After, I could attach the top of the cabinet. However, before attaching the bottom part, I had to install the door panel. When all of the parts of the main cabinet were in place, I reinforced the corner joints using 8mm dowels, the same way we did when building the table saw and the miter saw station. When drilling the holes deeper, I was thinking to myself, why I just don't use the screws to reinforce the corner joints? That would be way faster and it would be easier to take the project apart if I needed to. And my only excuse was, the dowel reinforcements look nice. Anyway, after all the dowels were in place, I attached the caster wheels to the bottom of the cabinet. For the back of the cabinet, I decided to use the simple caster option. However, on the front of the cabinet, I attached the casters with brakes. These will ensure the cabinet won't roll around while working on the bandsaw. Before checking the project as finished, I had to assemble the drawer for the bandsaw accessories. To match the bandsaw cabinet with other elements in the workshop, I used the same drawer design we used in the pegboard wall panel attachment. After sliding the drawer in place, the cabinet was done. It looks small and I dare to say cute, but after placing the bandsaw on it, the result looks fantastic. And the best thing is, we finally have a bandsaw station in our workshop and we can make cuts safely and in a controlled manner. As I mentioned before, we can fit the bandsaw accessories in the drawer and other boxes in the cabinet. Which is nice, since we don't have to make cabinets just for storing our items, at least for now. And the caster wheels allow us to move the bandsaw station around the workshop effortlessly. My only problem with this project is that the bandsaw is too small for me to cut my hardwood into planks. But that's a problem for a different day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.